this time I'm going to explain how I do the drones following the same pattern as you can see on this Fire Warrior. So these are the drones that are combined this Fire Warrior. I will put them on completely transparent stems, okay, something like that. Will not do the base, I will just keep them like that. But I will paint the drones. So what I have done up to now, I have primed them in grey sear, okay, this color but in a spray, the one that comes in a spray. And then I have applied, um, uh, not Black Templar, first I applied uh, Basilicum Grey all over, and then Black Templar on the bottom parts. I will, I will not do too many metallics, I will keep them more on black, and I will contrast the black with the uh, desertic color. So the color we are going to use uh, to have this desertic look is going to be uh, tire sand and we are going to apply this on all the arm different armor plates okay to give uh, to go in conjunction with the rest of the force so we are going to take uh, for this part and uh, as you can see because we have done we have applied the contrast we have a very nice uh, the black or we have this the lot very nice mark okay so we are going to we will need two layers because this color is not covering very nice when the surface is big and we want to avoid to have uh, brush strokes okay but uh, just with two layers or maybe three it should be enough on top of the way okay so we will do that I will let it dry then I will do uh, another layer and we are going to do as you can see what I try to do is to paint leaving the slots between the armor plates in black so i will try not to go into them because uh, if not what we have done the trick we have done to apply the contrast paint will not help at all okay so i do that and i come back once uh, this is done so you can see how it looks like now that we have applied the diam sun okay color we have applied and now I'm going to use a uh, flip one flash to do some thin edge highlighting this is going to be tricky because we have a big surface here but what you want to do is go next to the black and try to be as thin as possible okay that okay you can see what is about I'm going to do as well this one here because this is that one with just one antenna and we keep doing we are going to do as well here it is going to be another tricky part because it, it is edge is quite thick we are going to do double H, okay? We are going to do the top, and then the bottom. So take your time, be patient. And we edge highlight all the different armor plates. These are quite big. What I recommend, for example, this one is small here. On the gun, you can see, and here I should have done a second layer, I forgot this part. Okay. When it's that close, you can see. Okay, and then we do this part here. Okay, 
So we do this for the whole miniature and I come back once it's done. Ah, the other thing is sorry, the other thing I was forgetting is this bit here that you see I leave it in a different color. Now I'm going to apply here the one color just to give a different look this part. To make the music a little bit less uniform and I'll give a little bit of interest. Okay. So now yes, I will paint all these, I will do this grid in bone color and I come back once all this is done. So I just have done some of these highlights. Next I'm going to use a stone a horse silver and I will apply this on the uh, this type of visors that it has lights okay. like that we can, you can use stone horse silver or any light silver it has been metal from scale 75 any light silver that has quite bright Next, I'm going to use white. We are going to do with white the Tau symbol. See, I'm going to do the same that I did with the edge with the armor plates. I try to leave the slots in black. Next, I'm going to use Wraith Bone and I will let highlight the, this part of this grid that we have done lighter. We see that this is not enough, we can support with white. Okay, I do the edge highlight on this and I so the next step that I'm going to do, I'm going to add some red on these uh, visors and I'm going to use the blood for the blood god. Okay? And when you apply this on top of the, this type of metal we applied before, 
we are going to simulate a little bit the whole a lens will look like okay so we try to do something like that a little bit more goes through the red we have this nice look on the red okay and almost done right one thing we need to do you see that the this is the fire a fighting guy I'm going to do not the fighting, this is a targeter, right? This is a mark light drone, right? The shooting drone is the one with two cannons. So this is the shooting drone. And this is the mark light drone. Sorry, it didn't show with you. This is the shooting drone, and this is the mark light one. Okay? So now, going to add anyway red because on the, uh, black on this thing okay and now I will keep this Finalize, we can take a very light gray, so we can take administratum gray. We can add some small highlights. You need to do all the details, just the ones that you want to give a bit more accent. And that's all. So here we see. How I do the drones with this uh, desert color scheme. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed this one this week. Okay, I hope this was having interesting for you. And yeah, and as usual, uh, thanks a lot for watching. And see you again later. Bye.